I'm not gonna lie, I think this vlog might be a bit all over the place because A, it's my first time to... If that doesn't tell you what I was just saying, then I don't know what does. <laughs> is 7 32 and i am just about to do my makeup for the day look at these bags the gal is tired hi hello you're welcome to the first vlog i think that will be on my channel currently 7 39 in the morning I'm just about to kind of pack up my stuff and go and run for breakfast in college but quickly before that I'm going to show you what I'll be doing today. I've got a load of work to do and some life admin bits so I've got loads of emails, some laundry and stuff and then it's also formal dinner tonight which will be super nice. Wednesdays are our kind of formal formal days so the best food and everyone gets a bit dressed up. It is so loud here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the vlog and I'm looking forward to bringing you along with me. I'll quickly talk you through my outfit. So earrings are from Accessorize and Astrid and Mayu. My necklace was a gift from my friend Sophie. All of my rings are either Pandora, Monica Veneda or uh, Blue Blue Milk. I've got a Gantt shirt on, a Anthropology beige sweater vest and some black mom jeans i'm not gonna lie to you this is the first time i've worn jeans in weeks but seeing as i'm vlogging and don't want to look like a slob i thought i'd put them on i also have a department wide seminar today and somehow i don't think trackies are quite gonna cut it normally for the office i go looking like i need financial support which i'm not gonna lie i do um <laughs> but yeah jeans for today also, I just checked my weather app and it's going to be super rainy and cold today. Look how gross it is outside already. I normally just take a tote bag to uni. I've been using this one. It says Unity. I'm not part of the LGBTQ community, but I'm all here for it, so. So, excuse the state of my laptop. I've got breakfast in college, then I've got a supervisor meeting, a seminar on getting published, my research group's journal club, and then formal dinner. So, between all of these things, I will be in the office working. My notebook, iPad, and laptop come absolutely everywhere with me. They are my holy grail trio. I then also got a like computer mouse, my purse, my bag of everything. Big life hack, especially if you're a woman. Get one of these like small bags and I literally just have so much crap in it you wouldn't believe. I went on first aid course and got a face resuscitation shield. So if that's not planning for the unknown, then what is really? But it's full of like deodorant, tampons, hairbrush, tablets, earplugs, all sorts. And then I can just grab this between each bag and all ready to go. What else do I have in here? An umbrella, obviously, it's the UK. My airports. Um, that's it. I've just changed my white socks because I put my loafs on and then I looked like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I've just thrown these on. They are from ASOS. Time to go. So I walk through college to get to breakfast and I love this little view out of the, one of the communal kitchens. That telephone box actually calls the emergency services and it's where we house our defibrillator. It's so 
so minging here today. It's just drizzly and grey, look at that. I forgot to say whilst in the hall, um, we're not actually allowed phones in the hall, hence the sneaky filming. I am just walking to the office now. I have my office super close to college, which is super lucky. It takes me like a minute to get there. I'm the first one in the office. I'll show you the roof. So nice. And then here is my desk. I'm sure you recognize it. So I have just sat down. As you've seen, I am the first one in my office. I'm just unpacking my bag. From breakfast, I always take some fruit for snacking on throughout the day. So today I got a banana to have with some Nutella, if I can find it. And then I also picked up an orange, which I've never seen an orange at a store before. And I also grabbed an apple. Here we go, how cute are these? They are adorable. And then if you've never had it, you should try banana and Nutella to get together it's good it is 8 29 i just wanted to say i am not normally this early in the office it's just because i have so much to do I use my ipad for spotify and slack and then my two screens for working i've got a keyboard all of my notepads and my mouse and obviously my water bottle and then my plants that could uh, be doing better and then I've got my beautiful balcony here those of you, of you that are from Instagram will know this um, in the middle here is my drawer of dreams today I am going to be working on my transfer of status report which is a big report to you at the end of my first year to basically show that I've been doing enough work and that my project is fully viable. Then I've got a supervisor meeting like I showed you to go over some of that and then a seminar. So fingers crossed, crest, fingers crossed I get lots done. So I have definitely definitely shown you how I do this before but I'm just gonna plan my day. Before I do anything else today, I'm going to go through and do my Duolingo, water all of the plants in my office, check the Junior Dean email, book my meals for the week because they come out on a Wednesday at 8am and then I'm actually um, going to grab a standing desk for my room because I think it will really help so I need to ask about how I'm going to move the current desk in my room and then I've got some emails to reply to, I need to prep for my supervisor meeting, a whole bunch of you ask me some questions on Instagram I need to answer. I've got a kind of PR gifted story that I want to post and then every other day currently I'm trying to stretch. I'm not at training because my flexibility has gone down. <laughs> so I just did my meals and then now I'm going to do my Duolingo. OT priority do two months free of Super Duolingo so why not? Advisor has just changed my meeting time, which is great because I get a bit longer to work towards what I was going to do for it. So that's going to be later on this afternoon. I am going to do some emails and bits now and we'll chat back to you later. No matter how many times I go through my email inbox, I seem to always get more which is just infuriating um, but I think that this is just adult life now. So as I was saying at the end of first year we had to give in this huge report on what we've done so far and look how grim this is. This isn't even all of it yet. There is so much. If I zoom out you'll see it all. It's 14,000 words and I haven't written something this long ever. There's questionnaires, there's references, there's search strings, there's parts of my systematic review, there's maps, all sorts. So yes, today's task is to finish sections of this and read some papers for it. Hence my split screen here. 
but the sun is coming out finally yay I'm sure you guys are sick of the sight of me sat here. I thought I would quickly kind of explain what my work at the moment is. I'm writing a systematic review, those words give me the heebie-jeebies now, on nature-based solutions in tropical Andes and I've been working on this for about a year. I was really hoping to have this done by May and it's now November. I underestimated it hugely. But basically it's a really in-depth literature review and you have to analyze each paper in the same way to ensure kind of that you extract everything from every paper and my search strings gave me 19,000 results so that's what took the time it was kind of like filtering through those and i think in my actual review i'm only going to have about 30 papers which isn't awful but it just means that i kind of wasted a lot of time reading irrelevant abstracts and titles and stuff but it'll be worth it in the end i really hope i'm just filtering through um my kind of transfer annotations report at the moment and looking what i need to add in and then i'm going to read some papers for the review i can only normally do about two or three a day before my brain just gives up on me but I really, really need to be doing more than that because I'm pushing against a big, big deadline at the moment. So we will see. Hello, hello. It is 10. Ooh. 10.35 and I am still just on the paper one, I keep getting distracted. Uh, I'm going to take a break about 11 I think and go and grab a cup of tea. I'm just reading through a paper and I'm actually amazed at how I'm at Oxford doing a PhD which even when I say that boggles my mind. I'm literally googling every other word. <laughs> just gone 10 to 12 and I have a seminar at midday in the plant sciences building which is about a five minute walk from here so I'm going to pack up what I'm doing. I'm just walking to the plant sciences building now having a quick snack on the way because I'm not sure if we're actually going to be provided lunch sometimes we get it and sometimes we don't. Also one of my nails came off how sad is that I'm getting them done next week so it's okay. So it turns out I'd actually been to that talk before when I was in Geneva. It was the same woman hosting it, so it was a bit of a waste of my time. And also I couldn't film in there because the room was full of people. But I'm just heading back to college now. I've got a junior dean thing and then back to the office. I just had my meeting in college and now I'm heading back to the office for my supervisor meeting. This is Paris Manchester, that's my college. How pretty is it? So cute. So I have just finished my supervisor meeting and I'm just gonna pack in the office. I'm gonna work here for another two and a half hours. I'm also gonna have an orange because all I've eaten today is toast, french fries and a banana. So didn't have proper lunch, so this will Hopefully fill me up till dinner. I am officially the last person in the office. It's completely empty and it's pitch black outside. It is 5.25. I'm gonna stay and quickly finish the paper that I'm working on now before heading back to college. So 
yeah, hoping to be out of here in about 10 minutes, but we will see. Then it's straight to four. I realise you have seen this view so many times today, but I have finally finished for today's work in the office. I'm gonna go back now. Um, I've got about an hour before I need to go to dinner. I'm gonna pack up now. Today's one of those days where I feel like I could have done more. It's also raining outside, I think, which really is not ideal. Look how many it is outside. I hate the UK weather. See you tomorrow. It's so dark. I don't even know if you can see me. It's gross, it's like two degrees as well. This like burgundy midi dress. I can't be asked to dress you before tonight. And then heel wise, I am going to wear um, probably these. So you're gonna have to forgive the lighting because it's just awful this time of night when I've just got my main light on. But here's the dress. It's just a long burgundy midi dress. It's super old. It's from ASOS. And then I'm gonna wear it with my gown, obviously, because we have to wear those as well. So normally I would wash my face and do a whole other makeup kind of look, but tonight I'm not going to stay at the bar or anything, I'm just going to come straight back here after dinner. So I'm just going to touch up the makeup that I've got on and straighten my hair. So I've just been lounging around for the last 20 minutes, stupidly. Um, I'm in a bit of a rush now, so I'm just going to bung my shoes on and then head out. I'm going to have to do my laundry after dinner which is super frustrating, but it serves me right for being a lazy bitch. I have just got back from formal. It is currently quarter past eight. I'm just about to go and bung on some laundry before it gets completely forgotten because that'll take about two hours to wash and dry. So I'm gonna do that now and then come back, tidy my room and do some work. How cool is this cupboard? It goes three. Ooh. Two different parts of college via a storage cupboard. So cool. I'm back in my room. I'm gonna spend the hour while it's on organizing, so tidying my room and planning tomorrow. I've got another busy day and I want to get an early night and often I feel like if I get things out on a page ready for the next day. I'm kind of a bit more planned when I wake up and it helps me sleep better and get to sleep and relax. So I'm gonna do that. Also look how dark and gloomy it is outside. Really rainy. Plants successfully watered. If anyone can tell me why this one is going brown at the ends of the leaves, then please do. I thought it was initially because it was down here and then the underfloor heating was like scorching the leaves, but it's still doing it. Although it's growing new shoots at the top, which is very strange. So if anyone knows what's wrong with it, whether it's got a disease or something, please let me know. And is it worth me cutting these parts of the leaves off? I mean, cause they're so dead, they're not gonna grow back, but. It's a shame because it was doing so well. And then this one isn't doing too well either, my string of pearls. It was doing great and then it got cold. 
it's strange though because it's dying but then there's new shoots growing from the bit that's dead so I'm just gonna leave it and this one's growing loads of new leaves as well which is super exciting so I'm hoping that, that one kind of grows big and healthy <laughs> so back to what is planning for tomorrow so these are the things I need to do. The calendar tomorrow is super empty, which I'm so glad about. So I've got breakfast, lunch and dinner at college and then trampolining in the evening. This is an incredibly empty day for me, which is amazing because I've got so much to do. It's been about an hour now. I'm just gonna go and change my laundry over into the tumble dryer and then I'm gonna come back here and jump in the shower. So I am back in my room, I'm just waiting for my washing in the tumble dryer. I'm super tired, it is currently half past nine. I'm gonna drop out of the shower, get out, tidy my room, sort all of that stuff, and then hopefully be asleep before 11 p.m. I guess you forgot the uni card and now they're stuck in the laundry room. Managed to get in the porter came and let me into my building. I was gonna put this away now, but I just can't be asked, so I'm gonna do it in the morning instead. It is now 10:47 and I am super tired, so I am going to get an early-ish night. I didn't do any work past formal dinner. I have no idea what happened. These last three hours just ran away with me. But I have tidied my room and I did prep for tomorrow, so everything's ready to go in the morning. I'm going to try and be asleep by 11 so that I can get up kind of early-ish and have a busy, productive day tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry at how chaotic this vlog was. I hope you really enjoyed watching this day in life. And if you have any questions, pop them down below and I will get back to you. And let me know if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more. Obviously, as a PhD student, every day is different, so they won't be exactly like this. But that kind of adds to the fun. Have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Adios.